hello everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, today i'm going to talk about the three zones of the lung and uh, how the ventilation and perfusion in them uh, changes with each lung zone so in the top we have zone one in which um, the pressure goes like this it's pa greater than that is p alveolus greater than pulmonary artery greater than pulmonary vein and then the, in the zone two we are going to have um, pulmonary artery more than alveolus more than pulmonary vein and in the third zone we are going to have pulmonary artery greater than pulmonary vein greater than alveolus so the topmost zone is what we call um, dead space here um, as you might see the pulmonary alveolar pressure is the highest so the ventilation here is very good but perfusion is less because it's the highest lobe of the lung and the heart has to pump uh, against gravity to reach this slope uh, in the in the second zone the there is there's going to be good ventilation both ventilation and perfusion are almost like you know equalized and in the last zone, we're going to have increased perfusion and decreased ventilation. So in this zone, we're going to have um, what we call uh, right to left shunt because uh, some of the blood might uh, escape, uh, you know, uh, the ventilation and some of the deoxygenated blood might go into the pul uh, pulmonary venous system. Uh, so in in the zone one the VQ ratio is going to be three and in the third uh, zone three it's going to be 0 0.6 0 0.6 now um, this is relevant because uh, it, you might know that the apical regions of the lung are prone to tuberculosis infections and it's because this is so well ventilated and because um, uh, uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis is aerobic it's going to colonize the upper lobes of the lung and uh, whenever a person exercises uh, there's going to be a vasodilatation of these vessels that increases the perfusion and whenever a person exercises actually because of increased uh, respiratory effort and uh, increased perfusion of the lung lobes there's going to be equalization of all the uh, uh, VQ ratios uh, throughout the um, lung zones. Uh, now let's talk about what happens. I mean, this is considering that the person uh, is in, you know, supine position. So I want to talk about what happens if, sorry, this is uh, assuming the person is in upright position. I want to talk about what happens if a person is in supine position. So when you uh, make a person supine let's say that they're lying down like this this is the head and these are their legs uh, so if this if this is the lung uh, the zone one is going to be towards the anterior chest wall and the zone three is going to be towards the posterior chest wall um, yeah so I hope that this was helpful um, if you have any specific topics that you would like me to uh, make videos on do let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed my video give it a like do share the video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day